Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was gonna install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would've baked a cake. I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? If I give a legitimate order, I expect it to be carried out. I'll be responsible for its costs. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Your core programming? Like self-preservation, not allowing humans to be harmed, things like that? Correct. Don't touch a thing. I see how that could alarm you. That is why I wanted to discuss it before making changes. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you want level-headed answers to help you fit into polite society, I'm not really the right person. I see. I will take that into consideration. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. I'm all right. We'll figure out some way to even the odds. Everybody has a weakness. Even the Reapers. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <laughs> Not surprising. Shepard, there's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. I have no doubt you'll find her, Miranda. Thanks. 
I'm already working on it. I have to figure this out. You will. Have you had any run-ins with the elusive man? Just once. He said it had been a pleasure to work with me. But he needed to contain the situation. Contain the situation? Sounds final. It nearly was. He doesn't take rejection well. No. He doesn't. It's been a long time. What happened to you? I've been in hiding. Being on the run from just about everyone isn't as glamorous as it sounds. I didn't know. It's all right. I knew there would be repercussions to walking away from Cerberus. I imagine. You're a dangerous enemy. I am. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Good to see you up and around. Yeah. Everything all right? I guess. Oh, I took Udina's offer. Spectre status. Congratulations. Seems small compared to what's going on. You ready for the responsibilities of a Spectre? Doesn't feel real yet. Maybe it'll sink in. I don't know what duties I'll have. Everything's a mess right now. What do you think of all this? You're a fine soldier with an impressive record. You deserve this. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. He said we'll have the official ceremony soon. Once I'm out of here. And after? Any plans to come back to the Normandy? If I have anything to say about it, yes. I'm glad. You feeling better? I'm fine. Other than the pile of paperwork the doc's gonna throw at me. Sorry I'm so distracted, Shepard. It's just... What's going on? I heard from my mom. They got out in time. They're okay. Good. That's good news. It is. Did your sister make it to the Citadel? She did. But... her husband was killed in action. I'm sorry, Ash. Thanks. Yeah. Sarah wasn't much for the military life. We were all surprised when they got married. This war will take its toll. Sacrifices like his give the rest of us a fighting chance. It never changes, does it? I wanted to protect her from all this. Don't blame yourself for this, Ashley. I know. But I'm her big sis, you know? In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. What's that from? Invictus, by Henley. One of my dad's sappy poets. It's about not giving up. Right. My sister wants to do a thing at the memorial. Nothing fancy. Just some words about the family. It'll be tough. Keep me posted, all right? Will do. And thanks, Shepard. Commander, Admiral Hackett is available in the war room on VidCon. 